I'll just continue to work hard. I know I uh, faced some issues in the past, starting off a little slow, but I know my time will pick up and I just continue to push myself and work hard and I know th good things will happen. How difficult is it out there? I mean, you're an everyday starter in center field and then also coming to the plate trying to balance those two things, your defense and your offense. How difficult is that? Uh, it's really never been an issue. Um, you know, leading off the past three years and, you know, getting moved around this year, it, it doesn't make a difference on me. But like I said, you know, I just continue to work hard and try to do the simple things right and good things will happen. So far this year, hot start for you guys. Um, being a part of it, a lot of seniors on the team, a lot of high expectations. How does it feel so far, and, and what are you looking for moving uh, forward? I mean, we, we have everything we need. You know, it's a dream team. Uh, we have a lot of fun. We work hard every day, and uh, wouldn't want it any other way. These guys are my family. So. Fair enough. And finally, what do you got to do to stay hot at the plate? Uh, like I said, continue to work hard. That's all I focus on, and staying relaxed, and not trying to do too much. Well, it's great to start the weekend like that. I mean, you kind of. When we don't play during the week. Uh, you're always apprehensive about when the weekend starts because you haven't played in a while. So it was good to see the bats come alive early against a good pitcher, who I'm sure we'll see again probably on Sunday. Uh, you know, a guy that's been good for them in the last couple of years. And, uh, so, but it was good to get a, a early going with the bats. And hopefully, we'll keep it going for the weekend. Got a chance to talk to Nate Turner. A little bit of a slow start for you, but today two for three, two runs. Um, what does that mean for you for your everyday center fielder to start hitting? It's great. Uh, Nate has been a guy that was steady Eddie for us last year, and this year it didn't start out that way. So it was a little frustrating for him, but um, he's worked hard to get himself back to where he was, and, and you saw the results of that today. And then going later into a game, um, you're up big, and then you have some decisions to make on whether to keep those guys going or, or to give uh, some of your team other opportunities. Uh, what goes into that decision? How do you decide who gets out there, who doesn't? It's tough. I, you know, it's one of those things. It's usually the seventh inning, and we decided um, before the game not to play a 10-run rule because they came from so far away. Let's just play baseball. Um, so, you know, sometimes you have a 10-run rule in effect. So when you have that, then it shortens the game, but then you never know if you're going to be ahead by 10 at the end of that. So it's very difficult. But, um, you know, we just try and, and mix and match with where the lineup was, and it was in a good spot to get everybody in, and, and that's what we did. And then finally, i got to ask you, Colin Sherrod, obviously always consistent for you today, not necessarily on his best game, but still able to come away with seven innings and, and a big win. Yeah, that's why he is what he is. I mean, you know, great pitchers aren't going to have great stuff every time out, but um, you're not going to be a great pitcher if you can't compete every time out. And Colin always competes, and that's why he is so good and has been so good for us. So that's, uh, it was encouraging to see him battle through and, and get the win and get seven innings out of it. When he, you're right, he didn't look as sharp as he has, but um, he's done that in the past, and, and um, we just, we hope we don't get many of those starts like that because he flirts with danger a little bit, but um, in, the, in the past, he never has had that many of them. So hopefully we'll keep it, keep uh, those to a minimum this year and, and he'll be just like he always is, which is awesome. All right, thanks again, Coach. Congratulations. Okay. Thanks, Ed.